Hey everyone, Amethyst Ravensong here. Just wanted to do a book review today. Um, I'm going to do a book review once a week here so you guys can tune in and check out what I'm reading and get my input on it. Of course, that isn't entirely what matters, right? <laughs> it's your experience. But if you're looking for direction and what, you know, to maybe look into next, then this might be something that will appeal to you. And um, today I'm going to review The Modern Guide to Witchcraft by Sky Alexander. This is one of my favorite books and all the time I get people who come to me and they're like, I'm interested in witchcraft but I don't know where to start and I'm like, get this book. I love this book. Someday I get to suggest my own book when it's done and it's published we're still writing that. So for now, I say this book and I probably still will because we witches tend to have a large library, right? <laughs> so this is a really good one to start. As you can see, it's beautiful, which us book enthusiasts always love, right? And, um, and like she has the pages that are all frayed edged and gorgeous. Um, but it's a really good book. She, I really like it because I am an eclectic practitioner and in finding books to get you started in witchcraft, they're usually path Pacific, specific, <laughs> not Pacific. Wow. Um, I think that's the first time I've ever done that and I really don't want to do it again. Um, but most of them really outline like the strict rules of a certain path like Wicca or um, Dianic etc. So for me as an eclectic practitioner I liked this because it wasn't heavy on like rules and structure. Um, she I think she does write it from a Wiccan perspective but she doesn't get into a whole lot of like the rules <laughs> and yeah. So, because depending on what tradition of Wicca you follow, like, there's so many ways. Everybody does it differently, but you can do Wicca in a way that has a lot of rules and guidelines. And as an eclectic practitioner, I really don't like rules and guidelines. Mm -mm. A little bit of a rebel on that front. Um, so, this book, though, has just really good general information. And... She's witty and fun, and I feel like it's very well organized. It flows naturally, which is good. It doesn't jump around a lot. She gives you some history and background information, which is always nice to have as well. Um, she has some good like information on deities, herbs. I mean, it's, it's a pretty complete book. Um, and her grimoire in the back, her open grimoire, is really good. Um, I'm really picky on spells because I don't like them to be super complicated and involved. I just don't think that that's necessary. And, um, and hers are really good that way. I also will add this for people who are new to the path um, and wondering. You can alter spells. I know that there are certain which is an author's out there who will say, no, 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 you have to follow it exactly. But the most important thing, and she talks about that this in here as well, but the most important thing is intent. So if your intent's in line, like it doesn't matter how you perform the spell. You can cast a spell with no props or anything whatsoever, just your intent. And it'll work if it's strong enough and aligned. So Modern Guide to Witchcraft, by Sky Alexander. This is my like go to, hey, I want to get into witchcraft book when people are like, what do I read? This one. Pick it up. It's totally worth your time. Um, if you have any, if you have read this book, I would love to hear your feedback on the book in the comments. Um, if you have any books that you think I should read and review, I would love to hear about those as well. So please drop me your comments. I'm very interested in what y'all are reading. I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.